All right, this is my Android head unit. I want to try out this smart launcher. I think this is smart launcher six. I'm not sure whether it's version six or it's just the name. Uh, let's install it first. Uh, it's made for phone, but I'm not sure whether it works on this or not. But if it works on phone, tablet, then it should work here as well. So let's take a look at the screenshots. It's a customizable and organized home screen. It looks clean, yeah? It looks clean and nice. So what I really hope for is that uh, it works here on my Android head unit. So yeah, so it looks good. Let's take a look uh, whether it's installed or not. Uh, it's still pending. Let's wait for it. So, all right, it's now installed. It's only 10 Mac. Uh, no, it's 10 million downloads. Sorry about that. I think it's 10 Mac as well. Earlier I saw that. So just open this. This is my wallpaper. Um, yeah, this is how the beginning looks like. Smart launcher, enjoy simplicity, customize it beautifully. Pro license verified. I have no idea what does that means. I am not going to buy the pro version. Um, get started. Just agree. I don't really read the TNC. So this is the wallpaper that I have. Uh, you can use this. Um, premium cost me about 28 ringgit a year. A lifetime is 71 72 you know if you don't want to pay just click back and back then you come back to this it looks very nice uh, to be very honest uh, as the head unit you know this is something very simple and uh, beautiful yeah this i'm not sure i think it's showing some of the apps icons i think this is their icons their own icons um i think i just remove them hold down oh i gotta hold down longer to remove the icon okay when i swipe to the right yeah you get to see stories swipe to the left it's an extra page and when i swipe down i get to search contacts and apps okay and if i do this swipe up i get to see multiple categories of icons or apps that i have in my android head unit and this is settings you know this, they already uh, categorize it for me so all right let's go back again so in order to put extra apps into this home screen what i can do is click longer all right then you can to see add icons so from here you get to see these are the icons uh, which is available in Smart Launcher but I won't be using them because I won't use it to dial, I won't use it to look at my pictures, camera, email, I won't do that yeah. So I can actually put some apps which is useful for me. Music, mp3 player, my normal radio, maybe a reset button, an internet radio, yeah that's about it, maybe YouTube yeah confirm so now it appears and what i really like about this is that um, it's quite big yeah the icons and so on and you can actually place them anywhere uh, not really anywhere but uh, at least you know can you can place them anyhow you like so this is how i do this yeah so you can actually put it this way yeah it depends on how you want to do it let's see what else i can do with this uh, when i click on it i can add icons i can add shortcuts add folder uh, add widgets this is nice what other widgets i can put so smart search no uh, icon group uh, let me see what is that oh so you can actually put it in different type of icons nice so not enough room okay let's here let's see what else i can put here for my widgets so see I want to put a calendar create there you go um, but it looks funny yeah I think I need a bigger space for this up here find positioning okay so ah, this looks big this comes with a lot of uh, information but the thing is small so I'm gonna delete this Remove this widget. Oops. I'll remove this widget, and I'm gonna put this here. Um, widget. 
Let's see what else. This is a uh, widgets from other apps. So basically, their widgets is just this view, yeah. And uh, maybe weather. Hmm, yeah, this is the one that comes originally earlier, which I can make it bigger. Nope. So I'm gonna remove this. So this is just nice for me. A very big clock with date and day um, and you can put in icons you know, whichever I like you can also do this uh, come here actually look at uh, add page so you can actually add a page on the right see that so then if you still want to add a page you can do this again um, yeah I don't have that I think it's asking me to join the pro version so if you don't want this can remove it and press OK. Just as simple as that. And let's see what else they have here. Wallpaper. Interesting. They have already have quite a bit of wallpaper here, but you can just change by clicking it. Apply. So uh, I don't have internet connection. I think it needs to download. Yeah. Just let me uh, connect first. So right, I'm now connected to internet, and let's say I click on this one and click on apply again then it will start downloading wallpaper from internet and set it to this launcher just as simple as that um, just go and take a look at the launch so there you go that's how it looks like you know the background change immediately and let's go to the wallpaper again and see what else I miss um, there are so many yeah that you can change just wow you can have live wallpaper as well abstract photos wally wallpaper no idea what's that um global appearance so this is more like the team and so you can actually change the team uh, icon appearance edit team yeah you can just change colors and not here yeah. item on pitch background can be different as well yeah. okay so next would be I uh, grid, grid properties okay you can actually have it in standard dance or dance plus go back again then you can change the phone as well title phone can be wow there's so many choices nice be just this yeah and a body font as well up to you yeah I'm just changing uh, for the sake of changing okay uh, let's go back again and notifications basically I don't want to have any notifications from uh, this app and folders yeah, we can have immersive folders or disable it. Or in widgets, you can have a, what do you call this? Rounded widget corners or not. And a corner radius, apply custom font to widget. Yeah, I'm not going to change anything on that. Screen, screen orientation is now automatic. Yeah, you can actually change it to portrait or landscape. So I just set it as automatic um, app launch animation wow there's so many maybe I just try this one and uh, status bar visibility I think I just hide it yeah I don't want to see status bar dark status bar icons okay let's just leave it grayscale mode disable all the colors and everything will be black and white uh, let's see if how it looks like yeah oh okay there it is in black and white uh, which I I don't like change it back um, where do I do that yeah global appearance go to the bottom screen grey scale disable it so I get back all my colors and uh, now this is dark mode Activation condition, your system settings on dark wallpaper, then it will be dark mode. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Amulet black. Oh, 
this is not an AMOLED screen so okay so that's about it you know on the team so what else I can see here gestures and hotkeys um, normally I would not you know do anything on gestures and uh, there's basically no keys extra keys for me to do hotkeys here and backup so I can create a backup here so whatever settings will be safe and this is oh I can also restore right um, I can so restore yeah but it's hidden from there and this is share your home screen mm, why would I want to share my home screen okay and this is home page so these are stuff that you can change on the home page icon greet and you can rotate on place and whatnot app page so right now it's um all are disabled i just have home page and the app page nothing else yeah back again so that's about it you know all the settings are here and this is a little slightly funny yeah that would be better so okay that's it thanks for watching and if you like this give me a thumbs up if you have not subscribed yet please help me do so bye